Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the Arrowverse as a whole, but mainly Superman Lois, The Flash, and Supergirl. So today we've got a lot to talk about, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so there has been a lot of little pieces of information and news that have come out over the last week or so. I apologize that I haven't been able to get around to actually making videos about everything. However, I do have like a list of like 10 videos that I have to make and I'm going to be releasing them day by day and hopefully getting them out for you guys because there is lots of stuff that's come out. I've just been really, really busy and I'm still busy until this Wednesday. I'm filming a film right now and so obviously I gotta pay attention to that whilst also trying to do this so this is why this video is coming a little bit late but we have like various sources we are quoting in this and i'm going to leave links in the description below to all the relevant sources one of the sources who did an interview at paley fest was dc tv podcast their youtube video interview with superman lois executive producer todd helbing is in the description and basically, in this interview, and we're jumping right into this right here and right now, the Superman Low showrunner, who has obviously showrun The Flash in the past, you guys remember Todd Helbing, I'm sure. His brother also worked on the show, and they kind of ran The Flash for a season together, and then Todd Helbing did a season by himself. Then he exited the project, and someone else took over, and that person is, of course, Eric Wallace who has been on the show and is probably like the most popular showrunner that we've had on The Flash because I think he's very open, he's always doing interviews and he's always quite accessible about his thoughts and opinions and he's always quite open about what he's trying to do on The Flash each season and so obviously this is nice because showrunners I feel like do have to interact with fans or at least understand their audiences in order to create good stories that will intrigue their viewers and I'm specifically talking about TV shows here like Superman Lois or like The Flash. And so in this interview Todd Helbing is talking about a couple of things throughout it to do with Superman Lois and what's coming up in the new season including Bizarro and why they chose to go down that path. He basically explains that they chose Bizarro and they choose these characters and villains because you know, they base it off of Superman stories from the comics, however they want to take those stories, flip it on its head, and that's where they kind of start off. And so it's interesting that he actually admits to that, because it's pretty clear that that is their formula. They come up with one main character, and then they think of an interesting way to flip it, and to create some sort of mystery around it, and I think that is very intriguing, and I love that he's finally admitted it. And also the fact that he's just done an interview because it's been a while, like, he sometimes does short little interviews online, but actually in person, not really, because obviously the pandemic. However, now that Paley Fest is back on, and this is again a kind of mini convention that they hold in LA pretty much every year, that the CW normally attends, and they do sometimes announce stuff here, it's good to see that they're finally back and doing interviews on the carpet. Okay, so by the end of this, what's most interesting is that Todd Helbing references when asked about The Flash and any potential future crossovers, he says he would love to see The Flash on Superman Lois teaming up with Superman. That would be his fan favorite pick that he would want to see and that he knows fans would want to see and he admits it in the video. He also goes on to compare the shows together and how similar they are and why he thinks that they will work. Also the fact that some specific characters would be fun to see together like Wells and John Henry Irons. But most importantly he wants to see Siska return which is absolutely great. And then also Iris is mentioned and how it would be great to see her on screen with Lois once again. Actually I don't think they've ever shared screen time together which is very curious because you would think that is an obvious link because they are both journalists one of them can just go on assignment to the other city and that's how they can get those two crossing over but obviously Todd Helbing as he admits in the video he knows that fans want to see the Flash and Superman crossover it's absolutely clear to him that it will happen at some point 
and it's pretty damn clear to us that it's going to happen and the next thing that I'm going to talk about kind of leads into those theories and the fact that he's been more open about this now because initially at first when Superman Lois came out I'm pretty sure they were avoiding the topic of is Superman Lois still in the Arrowverse? Is it properly connected? When are we going to see these characters show up? Obviously we kind of got the answer when Diggle showed up last season but beyond that we didn't actually get any real concrete answer as of literally the two seasons that have gone by so far. Obviously we're not at the end of season two yet, but it's been a while since Superman has crossed over or any of the characters have crossed over with The Flash or any of the other shows. He also adds that he loves Grant and he loves the cast of The Flash and would love to see them cross over. And so a lot of these characters would definitely work well together and that is the kind of gist that I got from DC TV podcast interview with the showrunner of Superman Lois. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So this was not at Paley Fest. However, I believe this was at WonderCon as far as I know. I could be completely wrong about this. However, this is the quote that I found online. So apparently this is what Todd Helbing said on the other Arrowverse heroes. All I'll say is that I think everybody has this question why we don't bring up Supergirl or The Flash or any other heroes and I'll just say at the end of the season you guys will get the answer to the questions you have. So this is literally him coming out and being like yeah we are going to give you answers and don't worry we've listened to what you've been saying all this time because now we are ready to kind of actually go back to those bigger or kind of smaller questions but it's bigger in terms of the Arrowverse as a whole because you know the Arrowverse is this big connected universe you need to have references every now and again to keep it all kind of flowing and also there was another comment of someone actually at WonderCon and so this person, Daniel Alvarez, confirmed this as well, that they will finally answer the Supergirl questions every fan keeps asking at the end of Season 2. And so the fact that he mentioned Supergirl and the fact that he's saying you will 100% unless anything is cut see the answer to your questions about why they don't bring up Supergirl specifically because Superman Lois is a Supergirl spin-off. You would expect Supergirl references however they made it pretty clear that they want to differentiate themselves from Supergirl and create their own sort of legacy and that's why they've taken many characters and sort of retconned them and flipped them on their heads. And in regards to the Flash and the other Arrowverse heroes we've expected there to be a crossover However, due to the pandemic, apparently this is the main reason why this hasn't happened. But also, I think Superman and Lois wanted some space to establish themselves away from the other shows and actually be a show all to themselves and have an interesting story, get fans interested, and then bring back the Arrowverse. And I think that is exactly what Todd Helbing is planning to do at the end of this season. Now, what is going to happen at the end of the season? That is the big question that this comment by Todd Helbing raises, are we going to see Supergirl, are we going to see The Flash, are we going to see other Arrowverse heroes show up in the Superman Lois season 2 finale? Well, I think there is a possibility that we see like one person, however I'm going to say it's probably less likely, it will be more likely that it's a verbal reference to what's been going on. I don't know if they're going to actually play into anything to do with Crisis, is that going to be an explanation for the retcons and for the Supergirl changes and why maybe the Flash hasn't shown up because maybe Superman Lois is suddenly on another Earth or something like that because, you know, the kids are grown up post-crisis. We'll be getting those answers at the end of the season and it's just very reassuring to know that finally they're going to be talking about it because it's just been a big pet peeve of people's and including myself We've been waiting for this for a long time and I think it's about time that we get some sort of answers and some sort of mini crossover between The Flash, Superman Lois and Supergirl. And obviously Supergirl isn't around and there is a very slim chance that Supergirl shows up on Superman Lois ever because Lois is pretty busy. She's prepping probably for her new project which was announced like a couple months ago or something. So this could be a mini crossover episode 
that could happen at the end of Superman Lois Season 2 in the finale. However, I'm going to say, like I said before, it's probably best to place your money on it being a verbal reference where the characters just suddenly bring up Supergirl or The Flash or whatever has been happening in the contemporary world of the Arrowverse rather than just keeping Superman Lois completely isolated like it's been as of right now. So, exciting times to be an Arrowverse fan. Also, they released a new Arrowverse crossover comic. They released the first issue of Earth Prime. I'm going to be reading it, I'm going to be reviewing it and breaking it down this week and talking about that mini crossover and obviously I'll break down issue 2 when it comes out. I was just busy when issue 1 came out and I'm going to get to that video sometime this week so stay tuned for all the videos, I've got lots of videos planned as I mentioned earlier but for now if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe, turn on notifications if you're new to not miss any future videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.